Proud Boy Tiny Arrested goes to court Monday. See the link below to our webpage for news slash updates on the Proud Boys for all the links to all the articles I will be mentioning in this video and for citations for the claims that I make in this video. And that's what you're seeing right now. You can see the sources here. Click on any of these to follow along if you want to. Besides, you shouldn't believe anyone making any claims about anything. You should always fact check anyway. By the way, folks, if you hear the pitter-patter of little feet and Ewoks fighting, it's okay. They're just Ewoks playing in the room next door. Tiny, infamous proud boy who used to serve as the right-hand man of Joey Gibson of Patriot Prayer, was apparently arrested last night, that will be Friday, October 4th, at around 10.30 p.m. for outstanding warrants as he arrived back in the continental USA from American Samoa, where he has been living for some months now. Please note that these sources are at least partially inaccurate because Tiny, for example, is not a right-wing extremist, and uh, every source but one calls him that. <laughs> These reports say that Tiny is due in court on Monday morning, according to Brett Weisberg, a spokesman for Multnomah County District Attorney's Office. At 8.45 a.m. this morning, the Oregonian slash Oregon Live put out Proud Boy Patriot Prayer Brawler jailed in Portland after months on the lam. Notice that they include a photograph of the Big Samoan and characterize him as a right-wing activist. Contrast this with other sources which libel him as a right-wing extremist and conveniently do not include a photo of him. And you know this, Tabby? I've included a lot of sources in here. Every single one of them, except one, calls him a right-wing extremist and does not include a photo of him. The one, that, the one source that does include a photo of him doesn't call him a right-wing extremist, and that's because it's really hard to get away with a lie by calling someone right-wing extremist when you show in a photograph that he's clearly Samoan. It's not to say that I'm, there can't be crazy Samoans out there who are right-wing extremists, but it's kind of hard to get away with that lie. Because they, they claim that he's a right-wing extremist, they give no justification for calling him that. <laughs> Unlike what we do, they make claims and do not cite sources to justify that. Moving on. Now, these other sources, HOI ABC, it's uh, Heart of Illinois ABC News, KBGR 6, The Associated Press, writing for US News and World, WPTA 21, Fort Wayne's NBC, The Associated Press, writing for the New York Times, all call him a right-wing extremist and conveniently don't include a photograph of the uh, Samoan in question here. <laughs> now, let's go back to the first source and read. Again, it's Proud Boy Patriot Brawler jailed in Portland after months on the lam. That was originally from 8.54 a.m. this morning, updated at 1.37 p.m. this afternoon. You can see there's a photograph of Tiny there. Oh, puppies. <laughs> Sorry about the noise, folks. Updated 1.30. Okay, I already read that. A right-wing activist who rose to prominence for brawling in the streets of Portland during political protests and who fled the Pacific Northwest after being indicted on felony assault charges was arrested Friday, the Oregonian slash Oregon Live has learned. Members of the U.S. Marshals Service detained to Satalitani Tosi, 23, at the Portland International Airport at around 10.30 p.m., said Brent Weisberg, a spokesman for the Multnomah County District Attorney's Office. He was later booked in the Multnomah County Jail on a pair of outstanding warrants, records show. Tosi was 6'4", 265 pounds, gained notoriety as a member of the right-wing groups Patriot Prayer and the Proud Boys, who routinely pummeled and pounded left-wing activists and other people during demonstrations in Portland. Now, I have to say, we do know that he's a Proud Boy. He's made many posts about that. I think that's enough uh, common knowledge so that I don't actually have to cite sources for that. It's just common knowledge and no one's actually denying it. Now, whether or not he's a member of Patriot Prayer is debatable. I don't know if Joey Gibson has always said the following or if he's changed the rules about this uh, recently, but at this point in time, and he has been saying this for quite a while, Joey Gibson, the founder of Patriot Prayer, has been saying that the only member of Patriot Prayer is himself. And that may be because he's tired of people saying, well, somebody stood next to you, and then later on he gave the Nazi symbol and stabbed two people on a train. Therefore, he was a member of your group. When, you know, when you do a, a public thing, you can't stop people from showing up. That doesn't make them a member of your group just because they stood next to you. That's absolutely batshit, insane, absurd, and patently stupid to claim. Moving on. He also served as Patriot Prayer leader Joey Gibson's right-hand man until the pair had a falling out for undisclosed reasons. Now, I'm not so sure they actually had a falling out. They just sort of stopped uh, associating with each other on uh, social media. It may be a tactical legal thing that they're doing. Or they may have had a falling out. I really don't know. I do talk with Joey Gibson every once in a while. I just don't think that's a subject he wants to talk about yet. I can tell. 
maybe sometime in the future. So sorry about that. I don't have any inside information about that, but maybe in the future we will. Anyway, moving on. A Vancouver resident, Tosi, reported... <laughs> That's so cute. A Vancouver resident, Tosi, reportedly returned to his hometown in American Samoa after a Multnomah County grand jury indicted him and a fellow Proud Boy, Donovan Filippo, on assault charges in February. The pair was accused of beating up a man during a June 2018 confrontation in Northeast Portland. Filippo pleaded guilty to fourth-degree assault earlier this year. In addition, records show Tosi has an outstanding warrant on charges of harassment and disorderly conduct stemming from a brawl at a December 2017 protest in Portland. He is scheduled to appear Monday morning in Multnomah County Circuit Court. Quote, yesterday's arrest of Tusatella Tiny Tosi is another encouraging sign that law enforcement is taking Proud Boy violence seriously. Unquote. Eric Ward, executive director of the Western States Center, which monitors right-wing extremism from its base in Portland, said in a statement. Well, what about Antifa? You know, the ones that basically started it all, you know, the reason why uh, Patriot Prayer and the Proud Boys ever go to Portland, uh, usually, I should say, is because the police refuse to enforce the law when it comes to Antifa. They, we have shown in past videos, I don't think I'll go through the trouble of showing it again because I've shown it so many goddamn times, the police stand there and goddamn watch Antifa harass people and otherwise break the law and do not do anything about it. And the, the leadership there, the mayor's office and uh, the police chief, they flat out admit, yeah, we don't. We don't do that because, uh, you know, reasons. We feel like it would it would actually make things worse if we enforce the law. If we try to stop them, they might fight back and that might hurt. Yeah. But really, the reason why they don't do it is because they are entirely corrupt. They have the, you know, behind, you take off the mask of Antifa and guess what's underneath? Care. Take off the mask of care and guess what's, guess what's underneath that? Hamas. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to cite uh, sources for all that because I've done that in so many past videos. And, you know, I mean, how many times do I have to prove these things, you know? Anyway, quote, he must be held responsible for sowing chaos and violence in our community. <laughs> oh. So because the cops let Antifa do whatever they want, sowing violence and chaos in the community, and then some people take the streets and say, police, do something about this. The world needs to know. Hey, mayor, do something about this. Stand up and do something about this. It's them who's causing the chaos, all right? Because they're calling, they're publicly calling you out, trying to get you to do something about this. That's causing chaos and violence. Right. Continues. We look to local authorities to take further steps to prevent violence and, and intimidation by racist and sexist organizations active in our region, unquote. And that was by Shane Dixon Kavanaugh. Right. To say nothing of Hamas, or I'm sorry, CARE, <laughs> and Antifa, and etc. Right. They're not racist or sexist at all. Oh, I guess Islam's right about women. Hmm, maybe that makes you uncomfortable because you goddamn know that Islam is sexist, okay? Need I go into the whole raisin head comment about black people? Yeah, it's it's a racist and sexist ideology, okay? Fuck Islam. Fuck Mayor Ted Wheeler. Fuck that police force. Fuck any cop that's on the Portland force because at this point, if you are not actively fighting against this corruption, you are to blame. Okay, and I used to I used to point out that the uh, the head of the Portland's uh, police association um, or a uh, union, Daryl Turner, he used to call out this bullshit, and then suddenly, right before, right after August seventeenth, he's like, "Ah, oh, yes, I have drank the Kool Aid. I agree with the mayor and police chief outlaw." So now they're all fucking guilty. Okay, what voice on that police force is calling out the corruption? Okay. None of them. You are all goddamn guilty, you traitors. Ugh. Anyway, now, I will not go into all these other articles because they're basically uh, just rewriting what the Oregonian uh, said and then adding right-wing extremists into that. Without showing his photograph, of course, but I do want to note couple of things. Note that this New York Times article takes the first sentence of the Oregonian article almost word for word. They take out one word and therefore it's kind of awkward English now. And then they add the term extremist after the term right wing. Note also that the New York Times is anti-free speech. 
and that the New York Times claims that the First Amendment does not apply to private businesses. Okay, again, the New York Times claims that the First Amendment, the freedom of speech, freedom of the press, does not apply to private businesses. Okay? <laughs> and they call Tiny a right-wing extremist. Well, let's say uh, their credibility is not exactly up to par. And they, the New York Times also recently published an interview with an imaginary, you know, a straw man Trump supporter. Again, see the links to this in the news slash updates Proud Boys page. See the link below for that. There you go, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to us on BitChute because YouTube won't let us get away with this for much longer. And plus, BitChute doesn't censor like YouTube. And uh, if you subscribe to us on BitChute, they will actually tell you when we have new videos. Make sure you click that little bell icon. Whereas YouTube doesn't, or at least for many of you it doesn't, and it unsubscribes you. BitChute won't do that crap, okay? Also, please consider donating to us through Subscribestar. I will put a, a partial link below. I can't put the full link because YouTube won't let us do that. So you're going to have to cut and paste. You know, I'm going to leave out the HTTP double slash colon, and you're going to have to just copy and paste that into your uh, browser. And then you can go there and subscribe to us. I mean, uh, donate to us and subscribe to us through Subscribestar. We plan on putting... um some exclusive content on Subscribestar, stuff that really doesn't fit with either of our channels. By the way, Tabby has a channel too. It's got some funny ass videos on there. You should see that, see the link below for that, or click on the online clicky thingy at the end of this video. Again, Tiny is supposed to be in court on Monday morning. If he does appear or whatever happens, I'll try my best to report on that by Monday afternoon. Okay, folks, thank you very much. Liberty, strength, honor, honesty, integrity, justice, truth, love, and laughter.